films were made over a 20-year span, starting in around 1956 by two members of the McCrimmon family who lived in Johnston. The filmmakers were a Mr. Robert McCrimmon, followed by a Mr. J.G. McCrimmon. The footage was donated to Paisley Museum for safekeeping by Mrs. May McCrimmon. To accompany the films, Mrs. McCrimmon left a note in the form of a simple list. It read, Queen visiting Kilbarkin. After that, the list wasn't particularly extensive, but it was. It contained Lilia's Day in Kilbarkin, then there was the last steam train from Johnston, the last tram in Glasgow, The list ends with the words local scenes and holiday scenes. However, this collection holds so much more. The McCrimmons were obviously big football fans and there is ample footage of the Johnston Juniors who were set up in 1956 and went on to win almost immediate success through the 50s and early 60s. Their best season came in 1968-69 where they won the First Division, the Scottish Junior Cup as well as the Evening Times Cup. There is also unique footage of the Johnston Charities Queen being given a civic farewell as she jets off to represent the town in Ireland. The processions, the galas, the Remembrance Days, the local hunt, these scenes are covered in detail as are the familiar rituals of the day. A trip down the water, a day out at Glasgow Botanics, a cruise on the Maid of the Loch. However, it is the unusually intimate display of what we do, captured uniquely on film, that make these films most endearing and charming. There is a scene of Mr. Robert McCrimmon enjoying a Hoff and Hoff, a bit of back garden golf, a scene of the well-known pastime of shampooing the carpet on the back lawn with the old Bex Bissell, a scene of a newlywed's first home complete with all the modern conveniences. We are unable as yet to track down the surviving members of the family, so we can't ask them. But what appears to have happened is that the McCrimmons took it upon themselves to document and record community life. The carefully chosen scenes are almost like a time capsule of life in Johnston in the 1950s and 60s. It is fortunate that these films were placed with the museum rather than gathering dust and perhaps even forgotten in the loft.